well, we're looking at industry here at some scale, um, and the t the mental ability to be able to think of the process, select the plants, and then produce this, is absolutely incredible. It's just. I think another nail in the coffin to those who felt that the Neanderthals were brutish apes and so on, not comparable to us. These people were human just as much as we were, probably with skills that we don't have anymore. A pit which produced her down at Van Gaal's cave and pack it for us, put it in the context of. Yeah. A lot of this is, is geochemistry and we've had work with the different laboratories all over the world. But clearly what we found were signals inside the pit. The first thing we, we thought was, well, is there an animal burrow, but it looked too... <clears throat> too symmetrical to be that. Um, and what we found were um, chemical signals, for example. We found a lot of pollen from the plants, but we found chemical signals. Uh, one is a, a compound called retin, which is a, an organic compound, hydrocarbon, which is normally the, the product of distillation of, of wood resin um, at very, very high temperatures, temperatures of 360 degrees Celsius or more. We found that chemical signal. We found another one, level glucosin, which is very much used today as a, as a uh, tracer of, of biomass burning. So all these indicators were inside the pit and pollen telling us what the plants around were. Uh, and on the outside of the pit, it was a completely different signal. That was indicating to us that, believe it or not, this was happening in that pit. The key to this is that, and we showed this experimentally, these guys were really clever. Because you see, you can't just burn the wood, in this case it was of, the, of a rock rose, the gum rock rose. Uh, in Spanish they call it the jara pringosa, mm -hmm. which you find all around here. They must have known that was sticky and, and would produce it. If you just burn it, 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 the wood will catch fire. So you have to produce it in a pit where you starve it of oxygen, anoxic conditions, so that you heat it above the 360 Celsius, you produce the resin, which comes from the wood, but the wood doesn't catch fire. And then it's that resin, that, that tar, that you then collect. And we, re we replicated this within an experiment and we produced it. You then collect that tar and you use it to, to haft, we call it to stick, if you like, the stone tool mm -hmm. onto the wooden spear, which you can then use for hunting or for other, reasons, other purposes.